Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are finally here with Victoria 3. Yes, it is finally here, and we are going to be playing the Netherlands, as you guys voted for on the community page. So make sure you subscribe and like this video to get access to all these videos coming out in the future and vote for the future nations we're going to be playing. Now, the Netherlands, guys. The Netherlands. There are several issues with the Netherlands. I've done a couple of pre-runs as the Netherlands, and yes, they're pretty difficult, honestly. It's a difficult nation. And there's multiple reasons for this. So let's go through the reasons why we're bad and why we're good. <laughs> so firstly, we don't have a lot of land. We only have three uh, provinces out over here in Europe. Luxembourg's our puppet as well. Belgium is our rival. Uh, but if we look at our economy, for example, 4.26 million compared to, say, France of 47 million, Britain 57, Austria of 27 Prussia 18 million you can see that we have a tiny economy compared to a lot of our neighbors uh, even say Spain Spain 12.5 million oh my god what is wrong with that kid oh that is one of the funny things about the game I don't know why they went for these 3d models maybe in the population but for leaders etc I think they would have been better just to have like paintings uh, but yeah um, but in order to get around this, guys, we're going to have to expand elsewhere. That predominantly means having a colonial empire. Now, everyone else at the start of the game can actually expand quite a lot quicker than us. Um, quite a lot quicker than us. So, uh, we're going to be expanding to start with, but we're going to try and take some puppets, etc. Now, the one benefit we have as the Netherlands, although we have low population and low uh, GDP is that we actually have quite a liberal economy a liberal law set already which is great so that means we don't really need to change too much so we have a uh, public schools already we have a uh, serfdom abolished we have right of assembly we have elected bureaucrats feed of freedom of conscience and uh, sense of suffrage so quite a liberal set already now ideally for us we want to get to multiculturalism as quick as possible. Basically because we're going to be taking land in a lot of places that are not our culture, our religion. And I want to be able to accept those people so that they don't become radicals and that they uh, join our workforce nice and easy, nice and seamlessly. Um, so guys, without further ado, let's go through our various, uh, various different stages of starting our nation. Firstly, let's get this up on the outline app. And let's go into our politics. So, of course, like I said, the law's pretty decent. We've not really got too much we want to do straight away. But let's have a look at our government. In government, we are a constitutional monarchy. Our legitimacy of this government is actually not great. 44%. The evangelical church and the petty bourgeois are in. But I think we're going to reform. I most likely want to get rid of those. I want the industrialist and the intelligentsia. That would ideally be my... My favorite um, sort of combination. Hmm. The problem is, the law that I want to affect... Yeah, the intelligentsia are against this law. But the petty bourgeois are for it. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to go back to state religion. Um, for now, I think we leave that there, and then we will reform after this law. Although it might not allow us to put the intelligentsia in there. So, hmm, is there anything else? How about charity hospitals? Industrialists don't like it. However, yeah, industrialists don't like it. However, they'll still be, they'll only be on minus one. Now, one thing I've found through my playthroughs, guys is that um, keeping these guys loyal is actually so much more important than you would first imagine. By making them unhappy, we get radicals causing turmoil in our state, causing people to rebel and uh, revolutions to start, should we say. So keeping them happy is going to be a constant act of balancing. Um, 
I think I'm happy annoying the intelligentsia once to get the National Guard. Because it gives us another 13 battalions we can mobilize, which we might need later on. So we'll go for that with the law and we'll leave our government as is to pass this law. And then we're going to change them to the industrialists and the intelligentsia. Now in terms of our institutions, we can come all the way up to this level of law enforcement. Um, and I think we will. Because it gets rid of radicals. But ideally I want to be able to get up the colony levels quite significantly. It's going to take 101 weeks to get there. So that's fine. We'll increase our police force. Now, in terms of our budget, let's have a look. We're going to use our authority. Taxation levels in the middle. We're going to put our military wages down to there. Makes our armed forces a little bit annoyed. But they're still happy, which is fantastic. And tax looks okay. We haven't unpaused yet, of course. But we're going to levy some consumption taxes. So, let's levy one on tobacco. I'm also going to levy one on luxury clothes. And potentially liquor. And that then should give us enough, up, enough authority to do some decrees. And the decrees we're going to do to start with, guys, are the greener grass campaigns. Trying to get migration so that we get some large population growth. Now, of course, remember, this is going to make some marginalized population in these places. If we look at the population. We're going to be non-Dutch people. So, what we need to do is make sure we're moving down the sort of uh, citizenship line of the laws as quick as possible, really. After we get a lot of marginalized people in our communities. Now, buildings-wise, we do not start with a lot of construction sectors. But I'm going to build two more. Uh, no, we'll say three. That's probably going to be pushing our luck when it comes to money. Uh, but it'll be fine in the long run. Now, in, uh, on top of our buildings, we're going to have to be really, really careful with this, guys. So... Let us have a look at what we want to build. What do we have a lack of right now? So services is a huge one. Which we can get by building some arts academies. Um, but no, not probably not ideal for now. Grain is okay. Fabric is okay at the minute. Small arms. So we're mainly talking furniture and clothes. But first things first, let's actually build up a bit of our actual industry, our raw resources, because otherwise, there's just not really any um, any point. So, we won't have the resources to do anything if we don't. So, why do we not have... We've got access to rye farms. So, I think we'll go for two of those in Holland. We'll then have a look. Do we have anywhere we can put build sugar? Dutch Guyana, we'll build one there. Tobacco, we're going to build one in Dutch Ghana. Dye plantations, potentially not. And then a other cotton one in Dutch Ghana. Dutch Ghana, don't worry about Dutch Ghana, guys, because we've got a plan for that. We've got a plan that we're going to make that a little bit bigger slightly later in terms of the population. Um, so we've built that. Now let's look at the coal mines. We've got two in Gelre and logging camps. Let's get three more there. And a whaling station in Friesland. Then, of course, we need furniture. That would be the main thing. So let's add to the Gelre one. Uh, any Dutch people, let me know how to say Gelre. Is it Gelre or Gelre? I'm not sure. Um, but it would be appreciated if someone let me know. Apparently, Dutch is the closest language to English. But it doesn't seem like it when you read it. And I'm sure Dutch people, English doesn't seem that close to Dutch when you read English as well. But... We shall see. Holland. So, textile mills. Let's get two more of those in Holland as well. Uh, potentially, I want some paper mills, but we do have five, actually. So, maybe not. But tooling workshops are definitely going to be something that we need in the long run. So, in Friesland, we'll build two. Uh, and another couple of arms industries in Holland as well. Although they cost a lot of money, they're definitely useful for war. Because when you have to import a war goods, your money suddenly gets destroyed. Right then, guys, so, key thing we're going to be doing here is moving down this colonization path. So, we're going to go um, 
straight from pharmaceuticals to quinine, down to civilizing mission, down to malaria prevention, and then antibiotics. Because, and I will show you in a second, our colony efforts are severely hampered right now. So, if we come over to the uh, diplomatic lens, let us establish a colony. So you can see the French one takes 633 days, as takes more than double that. But then as, as we add more, uh, even more time it takes. We are going to add all three though, just to get a little foothold over here, although it takes 4,000 days. The thing is, it takes 4,000 days, but as we get more technology, that's exponentially going to reduce. So that's fantastic. Uh, we also should build some ports in these places. So uh, we will do that slightly later. We've already got 21 buildings um, in the queue. So are we ready to press the press play, guys? I think we are. We're only 10 minutes in, so that's all right. So let's press play. Yes, fantastic. Uh, the one thing we should have done is improve some relations. So let's improve with Britain, France, and potentially Prussia, I think, would be a good one. Although the US is always good if you're playing around over here. But let's go for Prussia. Now, we're going to have a look at a diplomatic play. Uh, and we're going to wait a little bit first so that everyone can kind of sort of set their knowledge set their uh, set where they are right now you can see radicals going up quite significantly already who is unhappy it's just the intelligentsia so we got intelligent radicals <laughs> coming after us and the play that we're going to be making guys is for this state here so Let's make it now, and let's see what happens. Generally, from the couple of times I've played, I've tried this both times at different times. Um, one time the America got involved, the other time nothing. So, let's have a look. No one either side right now, and I can't sway anyone. I'm hoping they do get... So, Carter, where are you? Uh, we can't do anything with you. That's pointless. Uh, I would like Dahomey to get involved. That would be ideal, and then we could puppet Dahomey as well. But we will puppet the remainder of Ashanti. And we will also get war reps off them. So, at the minute, no one else has joined... They might back down, you know, but we don't have a big, big army. And I, I don't know whether I've shown you that. We only have 20 regular battalions, guys. So that's going to have to change in the future. However, we can't really afford to uh, afford to do that right now. And you can see instantly our money is going down a significant amount uh, because of this diplomatic plate. Okay, so they've got a few extras in. They've got Futa Jalon and Futa Toro. Like, where are those? So, Futatoro, right, and then Futajalon. Futajalon is there, which we don't actually border either, so there's not really any point of them being in the war, because they won't, if you don't border a nation, guys, you can't actually, oh, America's there, that's the problem. If you don't border a nation, you can't actually invade it. Ah, America didn't join. So that's fantastic. We are going to take this land. No more war goals I wanted. So war has broken out in the first episode, guys, straight away. And this is going to be our, our main diplomatic play for quite some time. After this, we're not going to be able to get away with anything else, I don't think, for quite a while. So by taking this, we're kind of stamping our, our authority on the region. Now, let's see how war works, guys. It's pretty simplistic. I think... Out of, out of the hours I've played of this, guys, I, I think war is by far my biggest problem with it. Apart from them hiding certain things underneath other things. So, now we have this. So, the industrialists are plus three. So, them going down by minus two is fine. But the petty bourgeois are at plus 16. So, let's, uh, let's just make the petty bourgeois slightly less happy. 
by them being happy, we get minus 10% loan plus 10% bureaucracy, which is actually quite strong. Um, divine right for the evangelical church plus 10% authority. That's decent as well. Family ties for the landowners plus 10% influence. That's not as decent. Uh, and then veteran consultant is decent. The industrialists, yeah, we really want to get them happy. Minus 20% production technology cost. Rural folk, what do they give? 10% infrastructure is actually fantastic. But I don't think I've I've done any of the runs in this by ma and made the infrastructure any decent for anyone. <laughs> uh, made Sorry, made the rural folk happy at all. You can see our population's going up. Let's have a look at our migration. Normally, we don't get a huge amount at the start of the game. But we get a lot more than a lot of other places around the world. So, 312... It looks like we're still emigrating out of Friesland and Galway to go into Holland, which is slightly annoying. Uh, we are rival to Belgium at the start of the game, guys, and we will remain rival to them. But there's not much we can do about it now. It would start pretty much the First World War in 1836. So there's not much we can really do about that situation right now. Um, the one good thing with this colony is that it already starts with a port, so it's already connected to the market. Um, a lot of these other ones, we're going to have to build a port in. So let's queue those up now, actually. There's no point having these colonies if we can't build a port. So Dutch Guinea as well. And the last one should be over here. Yeah, Dutch Mauritania. Build that. Is there anywhere else? Do we have low market access? Dutch Windward Coast. No, we are, we are queuing those. Only three, which is fine. But unfortunately, as you can see with our colonies, if we sh if we show you here, it's taking so long. Look at France compared to us. Denmark's pretty bad as well, so that's one good thing. Uh, but Britain is just... Yeah, it's Britain. <laughs> Britain is so OP in this game. They can flex their diplomatic weight at anything and everyone backs down. They're so strong. And I mean, I guess that's pretty true of life. Let's have a look. Our five battalions beating back their 20 in this battle. They're pretty much... Yeah, they don't have muskets or rifles or anything. We should beat them pretty easily. And that was the capitulation. So now we have this whole state. As you can see, it's a little bit devastated. Just look how beautiful this map is to zoom into, though, guys. It is fantastic. But instantly, we've gone up to 620,000 population here now. Which is fantastic. So we can actually start building... Some of these raw sugar plantations, dye plantations, tobacco plantations, cotton, coffee and livestock, bananas, etc. Which will be absolutely superb. That's something we want to be doing uh, as quick as possible. Extra trade goods on our market. So, and uh, we also puppeted a shanty here as well. That's led by a one-year-old. Oh, God. Poor guys. But they are led by us, basically. So <laughs> that one-year-old doesn't matter too much. Um, right then. Let's keep playing. Let's see what uh, what happens. So that's decent. That means that we do stay at war with these guys. But, yeah. Proposing the peace deal of, of a white peace is fine. Because no one can get to each other. And we are now out of war. So we should go back to having positive income, surely, very soon. Are we remaining negative, are we? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, the thing is with the with the taxes, putting it up to higher taxes doesn't do too much, too much wrong, but it does add a bit of radicals. See, look at our radicals going up. Crazy amount of radicals. Like, I wish it would explain where these are coming from. 87,000 from standard of living. 228,000 from being conquered by a foreign country. Okay, that makes sense. Um... Because we've instantly added another 600,000 people into that area. So, I mean, ideally, the next laws we want to be going for are going to be coming down here. Cultural exclusion. or uh, yeah, National supremacy. Gives you so much authority, though, national supremacy. I mean, multiculturalism would be amazing. It, uh, when you get, I, so I, I played as the US and I got multiculturalism really early. I know, it's the US. Um, 
I got multiculturalism really early, but, like, basically, it's amazing. Like, it's so good. <laughs> there was no but. It, it, it's amazing. Basically, everyone then migrates to your country because they're an accepted group. So you just get so much migration. It's definitely worth it, but it will piss a lot of these groups off. That is the problem. Um... Now, from my playthroughs, I've played through not just the Netherlands, but a few different nations to test them out. Um, <laughs> pretty much in this game, all the big nations just just absolutely just shit on all the small ones. So playing a small nation like the Netherlands, or we're going to be playing the Ottomans in the next, uh, with the other campaign. Like, it's so hard, because all the, nation, all the big nations just shit on you constantly whenever you're trying to do a diplomatic play, which... How much more real to life could it be? I mean, how much more real to life could it be? So, right. Looks like our radicals has slowly, slowly stopped going up or going up very small amount now. We might have to move up to this. That's going to increase our radicals, though. Are there any more consumption taxes that I could do? I could do potentially tea. There's nothing really here that makes any money. Clothes? No, we don't want to tax clothes. Okay, gen general uh, general staff is unlocked. That means we can change these to skirmish infantry. Hmm, it's going to cost us too much money at the minute. I think we're fine with line infantry for now. Uh, I think that's going to cost us just a little bit too much. Um, got a bureaucratic shortfall. That's a bit of a problem, so we should work on increasing that slowly. Yeah. Loyalists are going up as well because of loyal groups. Evangelical church, landowners, petty bourgeois, and rural folk are all quite happy. Oh, no, they're not. That's what's uh, doing to them. Yeah, they're all petty bourgeois that are, coming, that are becoming loyalists because they're loyal. Intensive agriculture, that's something that we really want to... Uh, to stick into our rural buildings. So, we can now go soil and rich farming. It says it's not going to make any money. So, maybe not with that one. The uh, livestock looks like it will. We should also get the harvesting tools once we've got the tooling workshops. We don't have the tooling workshops yet. Uh, sawmills. Yeah, that's worth it. Um, some of those should become hardwood at some point. But for now, we'll remain them on normal wood because that's what we are lacking. Now, uh, yeah, right farms. Aye. Oh, now it's gone to plus 3.25. Well, I think so. I think so. And we'll leave off the tools for now. No tools for you peasants. You have to. <laughs> oh, God. Poor peasants. Poor, poor peasants. And we do have a lot of peasants. Uh, central banking is actually fantastic. Um, could make the intelligentsia even more angry, but I don't think that's uh, that's the play. It's just this building, this construction. We should be starting to make more money with all our buildings coming online. So we're making more logging camps here. Is there anything... Oh, we should go into the tariffs, so... We are exporting quite a bit of wood, so I want that for our national stockpile. Same with sugar. We will uh, die as well. And coffee. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to lose money like that. Hmm. Plus 10% tariff on exports. Yeah, we should be making money like this. I don't know why it's saying a negative number, but it should be making us extra money. Because I don't want to export some of those goods. Pharmaceuticals is unlocked. That's fantastic. Then we're going to go straight down to quinine. And then we're going to go nationalism. And then to civilizing mission. So, Quinine is a really good one, plus one max colonial affairs, which we want to do. Uh, yeah, we want to move it up. 
just adds more colonial growth, which is fantastic. So these places shouldn't take 3,000 days anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. We're taking a long time, aren't they, guys? A long time. But I'm glad we managed to grab Ghana over here. Radicals are still going up, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, 100,000 peasants that are unemployed. So they're going to make subsistence farming. Lots of people are struggling. Yeah, lots of people are struggling, unfortunately. Uh, but building these places is really going to help them out. We're building a banana plantation over here now as well. Fantastic. I don't remember queuing a banana plantation, but... Yeah, what? Why is there a banana plantation being built? Probably by a capitalist. Cool, that's quite good. Um, Ashanti has coffee. They don't have gold, no. Uh, it'd be nice if they had gold. That would be fantastic. Right, let's uh, improve our relations with some other people. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, let's improve. I'm thinking the US. Definitely someone we want to improve with. And that'll probably be it. I could improve with Spain. Spain's not a huge power right now, honestly. Uh, I'm going to have to go up to this, I think. What's our law on, on taxes? It's per capita. I quite like proportional. Who wants that? The trade unions uh, want it. Industrialists and landowners don't. I don't think we can even get the trade unions into the government right now. Yeah, they're a marginalized group. Yeah. No trade unions. There are no trade unions. So we couldn't even do that if we wanted. Um... But yeah, we need to we need to do something about our money situation. It's going to have to be taxing more, unfortunately. Which is going to make more radicals. But hopefully, once our police force institution... Oh, it's done already. That should really help with the amount of radicals. Surely. Yeah, it seems to be reduced. Maybe it's just been completed. New party is the Conservative Party. Which is... Uh, hello? Where is the Conservative Party? Whatever. I do not know. We also would kind of want to change off a monarchy at some point as well. So we come down here. Uh, Presidential Republic. It's quite good. Uh, yeah. Minus 10% reduced legitimacy penalty from sides of government is decent. We've also got Parliamentary Republic we could do. Um, it doesn't really matter. They're not that much different. So, either one. Either one that'll pass would be fantastic. Hmm. Authority has gone below. And I'm going to actually make sure that we remove one of these Greener Grass decrees. So, we stay positive. Uh, I'm not too bothered about our influence going negative, but our authority going negative is not great. Um, because it makes these guys not like us. And we need them all to like us to get rid of all these radicals. So the intelligentsia are very upset right now. The rural folk are a little bit upset as well. Oh well. See, like, we have more than 10% of our nation are radicals right now. It's, it seems... I've played, like, a lot of games, and it seems like radicals are so easy to generate... So hard to get rid of. Oh, I don't want the intelligentsia to hate us. Wait, the National Guard has gone down to 0%. So we will cancel it. Um, and we'll find something else that we want to pass. Agrarianism. Agrarianism. Yeah, laissez faire is quite good. Um, yeah, we don't want to go up. Let's reform our government then. 
Petty bourgeois. I don't want the church in there, but I would like the intelligentsia and the industrialists. Now that's how if I got rid of the petty bourgeois. Doesn't really make a difference, does it? Without the intelligentsia, it's quite good. But I do want the intelligentsia because of some of the laws. Landowners want to join the Patriotic Party. Well, if I got rid of that. Hmm. Keeps these guys happy, though. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing really. I think we're going to change across to these guys for now. I'm going to try and make that intelligentsia happy. Everyone else is pretty happy apart from rural folks. The trade unions are very unhappy and they're, they're marginalized. But this allows us lots of different options now. So, we can come all the way down to cultural exclusion. I think that's a bit too harsh for now. You can go to racial segregation. It's so, it's so much better though. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe that's not for now. Maybe that's not for now. Guaranteed liberties. What does that do? Plus two max home affairs institution investment. Minus 10% revolution secession progression squared. Minus 10% radicals. Plus 10% loyalists. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, the Home Affairs Institution. Let's have a look. Oh, we don't even have that yet. Hmm. I think that's that's one option we definitely want to we want to look at. Could also look at private health insurance. Yeah, I think that would be decent. It just makes the industrialists happy, but I want to make the intelligentsia happy at some point. We go for propertied women. Landowners don't like that, of course. Neither do the armed forces, neither does the church, so potentially something we don't want to do right now. So the poor laws is a potential. Yeah, that, that's actually quite good. It does increase our output of money, though. Um, yeah, no, we don't want free trade. Ah, it's quite tough. We don't actually need to do anything. We can start moving down that line. Um, we don't technically need to do anything. Guaranteed liberty is actually quite good. It opens up the institution as well. Minus 10% radicals would definitely be helpful. And it doesn't take anyone negative, which is the key thing. And it makes the intelligentsia go from minus 1 to, ten to 9. So, I think we're going to go for that. It's only a 17% chance. Oh, come on, where is all our money going? Where is all our money going? Yeah, we're getting screwed for money here. And I did just put the taxes up, did I not? Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to do that then. That's going to increase the radicals again. See, like, the radicals are already at 400,000, guys. I don't really know how to stop this. Like, there's no way of keeping everyone happy all the time either. So, like, how do you stop these radicals getting so extremely overblown, bro? Like, they get so upset so quickly. Let's have a look at our building. We're starting to make furniture manufacturers now. So, have a look at the market. Yeah, furniture should start coming down. Wood's definitely come down quite a bit, so we've managed to sort that situation out. We're fine for paper and, and fabric. We need the furniture and we need clothes. I'm happy with this. Oh, legitimacy is only 28% though. God damn radicals, bro. 
Why are there so many? See, it's, it's annoying as well, because there's so many when only two groups are, are upset. Although the armed forces is 31%, I could start trying to reduce their size. Uh, yeah. So that's their clout. They are quite a strong group. What are we trying to pass? Guaranteed liberties. Well, they won't, they won't like that, so... Hmm. We could do that. Get the Conservative Party in there. Still keep some relatively... Let's try that. We should still have... Yeah, we still got a decent chance of uh, passing the law. What's this then? Hamburgian peasant result revolt. Oh god. Poor Hamburg. Minus 5% authority. Yeah, I'd rather take that than the uh, minus 1 living standards. Let's have a look over here, see how everyone's doing. America is America in here yet? It doesn't look like America's come here. Where have where's um, uh, I guess America's focused on their manifest destiny at the minute. Um but yeah. Have we started building those ports yet? Probably not. No, we haven't. So we'll seriously have a look at what we want to start making soon. Let's have a look. Let's import a few things. So let's import some clothes because that's what we're really lacking right now. Take that from the Prussian market. What about a bit of artillery? Potentially not. Uh, let's wait. One second. So, what was it? It was clothes and something else that we were missing. We were missing a little bit of fabric, so let's get from the Ching market. And what about luxury clothes? It wasn't that. Tools. Yeah, let's get 10 tools from America. That should make us a little bit of cash. Ah, cash is just a serious issue right now. Try a bit more authority. I didn't have those bad cash issues before. I don't know why. Interest, construction goods, goods for military buildings. Yeah, we need to start building our own ones of those. Government wages, of course. We can afford to make the intelligence slightly upset with us. If we do that. It's minus 3k. How much? Minus 5. I mean, they're on 8. So doing that for now is fine. They're going to get rid of 10% society tech costs, which is slightly annoying. But, oh well, what can you do? Then potentially we just need to levy a consumption tax. Um, what's happening with these coal mines? 0% productivity. Wait, we have, we have the people here, so why are they not going into the coal mines? Yeah, you would be starving if no one wants to work here. Do that. Gets more tool usage, unfortunately, but... Shh. Why are you not filling up? Uh, people are going to the logging camp. So once the buildings are kind of done, I think that'll sort itself out. Um, Do we want to go for a Prussian trade deal? I think so. Ideally, in this run, we would love to have access to uh, someone else's big market, like Russia, Qing, for example. That would really help our economy out quite significantly. I mean, Britain, of course, but we're not going to beat Britain in a war. Um, Qing, we could, eventually, at some point. Ah, this is... Uh, why? Hmm... Yeah, every state is negative right now. That's the problem. 
Services are still a major issue. Logging is again an issue. Furniture is a big issue. Clothes are an issue. Did I import some furniture? I don't think I did, did I? Uh, there you are. It was import 330 from Ching. That's about enough to equal it. Okay, egalitarianism. So, we could actually go straight for multiculturalism. That would really upset some people, though. So, let's have a look. 8% chance. The petty bourgeois would go straight to minus 20, and the church would go to minus 13. But the intelligentsia would love it. I think we need to enact it slowly. I don't think we go too radical reforms too quickly. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. How are the populations doing over here? Getting 3.48k of migration. That's good. This one's losing migration quite significantly. So, what's the shortages of iron? Okay. More fishing wharves being built by capitalists. Another trade center. Pretty good. Glassworks. I'm trying to upgrade that glassworks. Cool. Hmm. Uh, that other furniture manufactory is being built. What are we... Yeah, I, I don't understand. Where's all the people gone? We have 128,000 peasants here. Why are they not filling these jobs? Why are they not filling these jobs? Mine is 100% productivity. They were going to logging camps, but... But the logging camp's not full yet. Yeah, the logging camps are full, so you should start joining the coal mines now, surely. What is going on here? They're not willing to work for that wage. Well, how do I increase the wage? Hmm. No. Subsidize for eight a week. That's fine. We need coal, boys. We need coal. Um, looks like we're not getting enough iron, so let's expand our iron mines. This is, see, this is the problem. We lack resources quite significantly as Denmark. It's pretty tough. Ah, oh, we've got quinine. That's fantastic. So let's move straight on to nationalism, which is already underway, which is fine. And then we'll go on to civilizing mission. Key thing here, though, institution-wise, is to upgrade this. Can't afford the 23 bureaucracy. You are right. You would be right there, my friend. So we're going to have to build some more administration centers. But we can't deal with that right now. Hmm. Let's see how our colonization's going. Yeah, it's still on an obscene amount of days to expand the lands. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, we're going to have to leave it for now. We don't we can't afford to build any more administration centers. Yeah. We just can't. And they make too little money. Yeah, we could build them, uh, say, in Ghana, for example. Wonder whether it's uh, got tax problems. Ghana is in turmoil. Mm. Oops. Let's just go through a few of these. So, isolated state regions, which we're going to be building very soon. The ports for those. Input good, good shortage of iron. Ghana is in turmoil. 
People are pretty upset over here. Yeah. I wish it would tell you why, though. Like, why? Just tell me why. Uh, landowners. Yeah, we'll accept making you slightly less powerful. That sounds very good for us. Wait, government has 9% legitimacy, bro. That doesn't sound good, does it? That makes it even worse. Right, let's start from the start from scratch. They would be at 37. That's not great. They the intelligentsia etc. What law are we trying to pass right now? Guaranteed liberty. So we kind of need the intelligentsia in there. So you go in there. With those guys is not great. With those guys is not great either. What about just you guys? 37%. I think we're just going to have to mid-max this as much as possible, guys. Unfortunately. Uh, we'll put the industrialists in there as well. So let's go with the patriotic party. Uh, yeah, and we'll have to... Uh, Stop that law because it's not going to succeed. Oh, God damn it, bro. Just as we're getting good. Uh, we can make the intelligentsia unhappy. We can put, make the armed forces happy. Let's do it. The intelligentsia being unhappy for a little while won't be too bad. God, our radicals. How do we stop them? Yeah, let's do that. I just don't get it. Like, you just get so many radicals. And there's not really m any way to stop it. <sighs> At least it's the increase is going, isn't going up so much anymore. It was a plus 100,000 before. So, radicals there. <sighs> How do you stop them? There's nothing you can really do. You just have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It definitely feels a little bit unbalanced, I'm not going to lie. Like, basically, at the minute, close to, like, a fifth of our country is radical. <laughs> a fifth, guys. A fifth of our country. Uh, well, like a, well, like a sixth. Which is pretty, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Now, I might start a diplomatic play to make, say, like, make Dahomey a puppet. It's not that rich, though. Thing is, though, they might get Sokoto in, which is rich. Oh, no one's even... No big powers are even in this area, so... That's definitely something we want to try. Make Benin our puppet. Quite a uh, rich land over here, as you can see. So, like, the Ebo people have 1.18 million and 2.3 population. Which is fantastic. Who's going to join? Doesn't look like anyone right now. Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to... Uh, I don't know, though. Sokoto does have a lot of troops. God damn. Egypt. Really? Mining accident. You can make the rural folk happy. Yeah, let's go with the rural folk. I mean, Egypt isn't going to be able to do anything really, I would say. So, I'm not too bothered by them. I'm starting to make money again now, which is good. I just, these radicals, bro, like, how do you stop them? They're starting to go down now, which is good. The intelligentsia are angry. That's not great. Everyone else is kind of happy. Rural folk are not too happy. So, who else has joined then? No one, just Egypt. I mean, open your market to me, Egypt. 
No. Uh, take Treaty Port from Benin. I mean, they're going to be in our market anyway because they're a puppet of us. So, just add war reps. We can sway Bargirami. Let's uh, mobilize our boyos. And uh, we can't actually build a front yet. Going to have to plan a naval invasion. And we should hopefully win. It's just the Benin's troops. Okay, nationalism unlocked. Which is fantastic. Then we want civilizing mission. Absolutely brilliant. Um, that should really help with our colonies. If we can get the institution passed. Which we won't do. Yeah, that'll add another level. So, yeah, plus 0.3, plus 0.4, and plus 0.5 for those different levels. War with Benin has broken out. So, we're going to do a naval invasion onto here. And let's go. Let's go. Ah, fantastic. Well, guys, I think we'll probably leave it there for today. Reasonably long episode. From now on, the episodes are going to be between 30 and 40 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, decent episode. Got a lot done, I think. <laughs> Let me know what you want me to do in future down below. And uh, hopefully, guys, I will see you again on the next video.